Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl, The Flash, and the DCEU. We have a couple of topics to hit. In this video, we'll be going over the Supergirl footage that was released at CinemaCon that people have reported. We're going to be breaking down the descriptions of that scene. And also, we have something else to theorize about. A question that lots of people have been asking recently, especially after some recent circumstances. But we'll get onto that in just a minute. Before we continue with our topic, I want to tell you guys about this video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on a huge variety of topics. Do you have that one skill that you've always wanted to advance or something you've always wanted to learn but just haven't got round to it? Skillshare is the perfect place for just that. As you all know, I'm a huge DC Comics fan, I have been all my life, but most of you probably don't know that I love drawing and at one time I thought I wanted to be a comic book artist. So when I found DC Comics artist Phil Jimenez and his Skillshare class on the art of visual storytelling, how comics work, I was excited because I realised that it was perfect for me as I got a full rundown on the ins and outs of what it means to be a comic book artist and work in the comic industry and all the different steps of creating and working on a comic book from the artist's perspective. Phil's classes have motivated me to be more confident with my drawing skills and also take it up again whilst also emphasising to me just how amazing comic book artists are like Phil. You can find something just like this over on Skillshare with their endless range of ad-free classes which has something for everyone. Also one big factor that I loved about Phil's class was the fact that it was 7 classes and it was only 30 minutes and I could do it anywhere that I was as long as I had my device on me. And I watched Phil's classes the other day whilst taking a break from making a video. So no matter where you are, no matter what situation you're in, Skillshare definitely has something for everyone. So use my code the DCTV show or click on the link in the description below to get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The first thousand of you to use my code will get access to Skillshare for free and also at the same time you'll be supporting the channel so what's not to love. So join Skillshare today to learn something new and explore your creativity and once again thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay so on to today's topic thanks for sticking around. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is in regards to CinemaCon. Now what is CinemaCon? So CinemaCon was just on recently, it's normally on once a year. It's just a little convention where theatre owners and distributors and members of the press go and watch like little sneak peeks of films like trailers just to get them all excited and kind of ready for what is coming their way in terms of film releases. And so of course with The Flash coming up they showed a little bit of The Flash, along with some other bits and pieces that they showed to do with the other DCEU films that are going to be coming out pretty soon. So what was revealed in regards to The Flash film? So they actually played some new footage from The Flash film. You have to remember right now all we have in regards to footage is that one trailer. And that one trailer was very brief in terms of like what exactly it showed. It showed, yes, we do have like two individual versions of the Flash that are separate. We've seen Supergirl just briefly and also a teaser to do with Michael Keaton's Batman returning. But we didn't really get into that much detail because the trailer is so short, it's very snappy. And by the time they made it, I don't think they were actually that far along in terms of like editing. And we know that it's been delayed a little bit more, the Flash film, from this year to next year. And that is because of, you know, the VFX heavy nature of the film. We heard the Aquaman director, James Wan, actually talking about this in regards to why Aquaman was delayed. And I feel like it's similar for the Flash. However... They did show footage at CinemaCon on April 27th, so it's been just over a week now, but we are finally talking about it. And so what people were described as seeing in this footage is basically that we get to see Michael Keaton's Batman donning the bat suit. I don't know what type of scene it is. However, he does utter his classic quote from the original Batman film that he was in, and he says, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. And so apparently that's one of the scenes that they showed. He actually goes full referential back to that point. So you can tell, yes, definitely 100% linked to what came before with Batman Returns and Batman as well with Michael Keaton. And potentially that's within 
now the DCEU because the DCEU is ever expanding and even the Arrowverse is linked because if you remember in Crisis on Infinite Earths you had Ezra and Grant's Flash crossing over that basically set up everything to come and how you know there's always the possibility for our characters to cross over which is obviously very very exciting for us fans but what was most exciting to hear is in this footage and they show bits and pieces of other scenes in the film and apparently the action has been described as looking pretty epic. I'm not sure how much VFX heavy shots they showed, but the most exciting thing was the fact that people were mentioned in the footage. They included more looks at Sasha Calais Supergirl in the trailer. And so that's obviously very exciting because in the trailer that we got quite a long time ago now, like I mentioned just earlier in the video, we barely got any Supergirl in the trailer. She was there in the background and if you freeze frame you can see her a couple of times, but she didn't get like a line, she didn't get like a main moment. However, by the way that people were describing this, it seems like she got a kind of main moment where she is at least centerpiece with the Flash rather than just being behind him in the frame or something like that. So people were very hyped about that and apparently the footage looked good. So I really can't wait to see what's actually going to be happening with the Flash film and when it eventually comes out. Obviously we don't know if there's going to be any more delays and that is a thing that we're going to have to just hold on to and hope that it comes out on the next set release date that it's got right now. It feels like it's been such a long time but nevertheless I'm super excited for the Flash film and talking of the Flash film lots of people online have been talking and this is in regards to Ezra Miller because Ezra Miller recently has been pretty controversial and I'm not going to go into the full details of what he actually did however there is precedent for him maybe to be stepping away from Warner Brothers a little bit and that could mean less flash in the future and so I think a very relevant question is where does that leave the DCEU and where does that leave the flash in the greater DCEU as well. Apparently Warner Brothers obviously who produced the film had a meeting after some allegations came out to do with Ezra and apparently they are going to put on hold his future projects that they're going to be working on together and that means a potential flash sequel whenever that comes to be but first off obviously we need the first film but let's talk about this because people have been speculating online being like okay so Ezra could be stepping away from the Flash because Warner Brothers doesn't want to work with him so if that's the case who's gonna replace Ezra like is it going to be a similar situation to what they're doing with Batman now because they had Ben Affleck originally but Ben Affleck went away for other reasons not the same reason as to why potentially Ezra may not return as the Flash post this film but the same principles apply because what happened with that is now we have Michael Keaton's Batman who is coming in and replacing and he wasn't established in the DCEU as a solely DCEU creation he was created before Man of Steel and all those other films came out so they just linked it in and that's part of the multiverse and so this has people questioning are they going to do the same with the Flash? Is it at all possible that somewhere down the line, like five years, it doesn't matter when, but whenever they do a Flash sequel, the next Flash film, are they going to get someone who has already been the Flash before? Just like they've been doing with Batman and they're going to be doing, if you didn't know Michael Keaton's Batman's in this Flash film, but he's also a major character in the Batgirl film, so that is definitely the DCU's main Batman right now and so I think it's a very relevant question and there's precedent for this already and I like people's questioning so people are like is Grant Gustin going to be the next Flash in the DCU considering that Ezra is probably not going to make like a hundred more Flash films or be the Flash in like every other project because it doesn't seem like that is really the future as of right now and so I have to say I like this idea and I like that everyone has been throwing this around and praising Grant because obviously Grant is a great Flash and he is so good. However, I think the Flash is going to end in the next couple of seasons. Obviously we have a season 9 coming which is fantastic news, but we also potentially have a season 10. That means he's locked off for like at least two more years and then beyond that, what is he going to do? Is he going to stick with the Flash TV show? 
Is he going to end the show and go do something else, do some films? And then maybe somewhere down the line, like five years down the line, like I mentioned, could he become the Flash of the main DCU and cross over to the Arrowverse, but also in the films? So I think, you know, there's definitely a possibility that that could maybe happen. However, I'm going to say it's more likely that we're going to be seeing Grant in a cameo in the Flash film at some point. I'm still banking on that. I really don't know if it's going to actually happen, but it would be great. And the DCU has already established that Grant is the main Flash because that's where Ezra Miller's Flash got his inspiration to call himself the Flash during Crisis on Infinite Earths. That was established there and it's supposed to be canon to the DCEU. So with all of that in mind, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think it's at all possible that Ezra's Flash could be replaced by Grant somewhere down the line. Doesn't have to be tomorrow, doesn't have to be in a year or two years, but what about five years plus down the line if Ezra is gone as the Flash? And that's a big if because I really don't know how they're going to handle the whole situation. But let's talk about the other question that people have been asking. Considering that this was a big deal online the other day, like as soon as those allegations came out, people have been also saying, is it possible that Melissa could come to the DCEU in the future? Now, I want to address this because I think it's interesting to tackle both topics at once because they're very similar. And is it possible that Melissa at any point could return as Supergirl and replace the Supergirl in the DCEU, that being Sasha Kelly, of course? Well, I think the straight and simple answer is no. And that is because Sasha Kelly isn't controversial. There is nothing bad that she's done and there is no reason to get rid of her, especially if she's a big hit in the Flash film, which I'm sure she's going to be. If she's a hit, they're going to want to make a Supergirl film. They're going to want to continue with this character. So there is no reason right now to suspect that Sasha would go away and be replaced by someone like Melissa, even though Melissa has been established for a long time as Supergirl and she's not opposed to coming back. That was a quote that she said once the show ended. Also, Sasha has been very publicly saying that she's watched Supergirl and she did a couple of posts basically admiring Melissa, but that doesn't mean that she's going to replace her. And so right now, I think the big thing is Melissa is done with Supergirl for a while. However, that doesn't rule out her coming in as a cameo sometime down the line, similar to Grant. And that's got people questioning, like, when is it going to happen? Like, everyone's anticipating. We want Melissa to show up once again as Supergirl, whether it's Arrowverse or DCU. And then same thing for Grant. They want him to come into the Flash film. It would be amazing if he had a cameo. And people really start to consider, last week, him replacing Ezra as the Flash. And now, I really think it's definitely a possibility that Ezra gets replaced. I'm not 100% certain they would go with Grant because it has to be mutually agreed that he would replace, say, Ezra's Flash. But I would be so down for it. So this has just been a short, fun video talking about the potential for any crazy stuff to go down in the future in the DCEU, but also linking it to the Arrowverse obviously honing in on Supergirl and The Flash and what potentially could happen, whilst also breaking down some of that CinemaCon descriptions that we had. Also, apparently in the footage of The Flash that they showed, we see the return of Michael Shannon's Zod, who was obviously killed in Man of Steel. That is the infamous scene where Superman breaks neck. That is Zod, and Zod is coming back in The Flash film. We don't know in what circumstances, but it can be presumed that probably Zod is back because of Flashpoint and because of all the timeline changes. Barry probably goes to a timeline and sees Zod. Basically, the multiverse gives you the option to do so much and there is like literally infinite possibilities. And that's why it's important to consider things like Grant replacing Ezra if that's what DC and Warner Brothers actually want to do in the future. And again, I'm not confirming any of this. I have no inside information. It's all speculation and just theories and also just generally talking about the DCEU and the Arrowverse as a whole and their links. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Please be sure to use my code, the DCTV show, in the description below. 
click on the link, use the code, and the first 1,000 of you guys to sign up using my link will be able to get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Please be sure to do that, it really would help out the channel and I would really appreciate it if you guys signed up. But I also genuinely mean it that I think you guys would be interested and I think just sign up for the trial, give Skillshare a go, because why not? It's free and it's a great service. So for now, once again, leave a like and a comment. That also helps out the channel. Subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. And also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.